Hello, um, I have 45 minutes until my seminar, so I don't know why I decided to do this now, but <laughs> um, I did film a wrap up of September and October books the other week, um, at the start of December actually, but for the books especially in September it'd been that long since I read them that it was a bit my descriptions weren't as good as I'd want them to be and then the ones I've read recently I want to do for another video that's coming soon <laughs> so it was a bit of a dud <laughs> it was a bit it was a bit useless it didn't really make any sense to be honest so uh, we scrapped that and I decided to do the end of year book tag this I think was first done by Ariel Bassett. I'm not sure, but I'll leave the original tag in the description box. And it was initially done in September. It's now the 10th of November. So, so I don't really have that long <laughs> left until the end of the year for me to actually read any of these books. But you know, we're just gonna roll with it. So, I've got the questions on my phone. Question one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? <laughs> Let me just go on to my goodreads uh because according to goodreads i'm reading about seven thousand at the moment i've actually lost track <laughs> so many uh the first one i'm reading is americana by chamanda ngozi adichie this one uh we had to read extracts for for my seminar that i have in approximately 40 minutes now we had to read two blog posts from it one of the main characters ifamelo has blog posts and we had to read those for this week and I decided I don't want to get spoiled by anybody in the class because I feel like somebody's gonna spoil it for me so I'm gonna read it however I've only read 17 pages out of a 477 page book so I did want to read it anyway which is why I decided I was gonna read it I just didn't give myself enough time to actually read it the next one <laughs> so many on this list uh, the next one is The Second Sex by Simone de Bois. Normally, I think that's de Bois, de Beauvoir? I'm not sure how you say that, but normally I won't really include books that I read for uni and stuff on my Goodreads unless I read them cover to cover. And this one I am reading cover to cover. It's huge, it's massive, it's about this thick, and I'm on part two. So I am slowly making my way through that. I'm just reading two or three chapters a day. So I'll probably finish that one uh, by next year, honestly, the way I go through that. The next one is What Happened by Hillary Rodham Clinton. I'm listening to this. I didn't mean to start listening to this at the time that the US election was going on. I just wanted to listen to a memoir on my way home from uni and this was the only memoir I had on my Audible account, so I started listening to this. I think I'm about three quarters way through it. I think I've only got about five hours left on it. And I love it so, so much. I think it's a really good analysis that Clinton does about why she lost the election and why Trump won. She covers policies, she talks about past elections, past presidents. It's just really, really interesting and it's not a Donald Trump one and I got fucked over and stuff. It's it's not that. It's it's a really in-depth political analysis, which I'm really actually really enjoying. So also I wouldn't describe it as a memoir. I thought it was. It's not. I think she has some memoirs that she's written about her life, but this is more of an analysis about the election. She does obviously bring in her relationship with Bill Clinton, her relationship with her daughter, but all in terms of the election preparation. She looks at when she lost the Democratic primary, I think it is, to Barack Obama. It's Honestly, it's really, really interesting. If you're interested in political things, American politics, I would highly recommend that. The next two <laughs> I couldn't tell you about. Um, it is Wood, It is Stone by Gabriella Burnham. I think I read the first page of this. Um, I haven't picked up since. I don't even really know where it is. 
and the other one is A Woman by Sibylla Alaramo. Again, I think I read five pages of this and I couldn't tell what you where it is either. Um, I do want to get to them because I obviously started them for a reason, but you know, I don't really know. <sighs> Last one, finally, is Margaret Thatcher, The Authorised Biography, Volume 1 by Charles Moore. I have this trilogy. I'm really, really interested in biographies. I really like reading about people. I didn't used to be, but now it's kind of come in. I just think it's really, really interesting. And so I've got quite a few on my shelf actually to do with politics. I've got, um, I think it's The Room Where It Happens by John Bolton about the Trump administration. Uh, I've got Becoming Michelle Obama. As I said, I've got the Margaret Thatcher ones. I started this one and I think I was going somewhere. Even though these are separated into three volumes, like they're quite each, of them is quite chunky so I didn't really want to take it with me and I just never got around to picking it back up again which is something I definitely want to do I would like to finish it before the end of the year because I have as I said there are three to read so I'm gonna try and get to that uh, the next question is do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year um well, well I think autumn's almost over. I think it's almost winter. I don't really... I, I'm i a mood reader, but I'm not really a reader where I'm like, spooky books in October, Christmas books in December. Actually, no, that's a lie. The only time I will read Christmas books normally is in December. That's the only season I really go to. I can read a book set in summer, in winter. I, I'm not really that phased by it. Um, I do have, I'm going to change this question slightly for me, but considering we're going into December, I do have three Christmas books that I would like to get to. Uh, one I recently bought, I'll show it to you actually, it's right here. I just picked this up from Tesco the other day because I saw it and I thought, oh, Christmas. Uh, this says together, this says, this is called Together by Christmas and it's by Karen Swan. Yes, by Karen Swan. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about apart from this uh, Christmas and I do have two others that are on my Kindle that I do uh, want to read. I think it might be nice if I do like a Christmas readathon or something in December or if somebody is doing one then I can read those books. Maybe try and make a gingerbread house, maybe do Christmassy things. I really really love Christmas. <laughs> I'm like a Christmas, Christmas is my time. As soon as Remembrance Sunday is over and Armistice Day, then I crack into full Christmas bonanza. So I just, they're my books to transition to the end of the year, basically. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? Um, I think only Barack Obama's one, which I can't remember the title of at the moment. I know it's due out on the 17th of November and I need to go and pick it up because I'm too stingy to pay three pound like that. Um, but yeah, I need to go and pick that one up when it's released. I think that's the only one. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So, so many books I want to read before the end of the year. I have so many amazing books on my shelf that I really want to get to. Um, I'll just list off a few, wait, three. Yeah, three. Um, three books. Not including the ones I've spoke, I've spoken about. Ghost by Dolly Alderton. I pre-ordered this. I haven't got to it yet. It was released in October. I got it in October. Um, I think this is about a woman being ghosted, and I've been ghosted, so I want to read it. Um, two, two other books. Uh, Writers and Lovers, Lily King. I asked for this for my birthday. My birthday was in August haven't got around to it yet I really really want to read that one and a third one I don't know I just so I have so many in my head that I'm struggling to pick so I'm just gonna can I just say a few you know what it's my video I can do what I want um Ruth Bader Ginsburg's one at uh, hood feminism I really want to read I am Malala I really want to read 
I really want to read The Night Circus, Crazy Rich Asians trilogy, I have them. I just, there's so many books I want to read that I just have on my shelf that are amazing. Ordinary People, Conversations with Friends. I'm gonna stop now because there are just so many. Um, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite of the year? Uh, I don't think so, honestly, because I've read this year, even though it's been a shocking one for my reading, I have read some amazing, amazing books that I think are gonna be my all time favorites for life. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna say my favorite ones in this video that I've read. Um, a Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. That's one of my absolute favorite books. I love it so much. I want to reread it next year. I, I, I love that book with all of my heart. Um, Taylor Jenkins Reid, I've read more of her this year. So Evidence of the Affair, which is a short story. I didn't think I'd love, and I did, because I'm not a short story person. And that was amazing. Um, One True Love's Taylor Jenkins Reid. Maybe in another life, Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, Mine by Emily Merrill, that shocked me. It's a YA book, um, trigger warning for domestic violence, but it's really handled. Um, in a really amazing way, I think. And also it's set at university. It was set at the University of York, which I go to. So I really enjoyed that side aspect as well as the book. Um, yeah, I think that's about, maybe Americana, maybe. I don't wanna put too much pressure on it because I feel like as soon as I say, I'm gonna love a book, then I end up don't because my expectations are quite high. Uh, last question, have you already started making reading plans for, oh, uh, <laughs> this question is, have you, already, have you already started making reading plans for 2018? I was like, no. Have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Um, yes and no. So I've decided, <laughs> um, I've decided to put myself on a book buying ban, um, a really serious one, because I have around almost 400 books on my shelf unread um i think my i'll put the actual number on the screen um but yeah and i really i like, i bought all these books for a reason and i really really want to get to them i mean some of the ones that i listed already are on my shelf um some have been on my shelf for years i am malala uh children of blood and bone i think and i just have so many amazing books that i really really want to get to and so that's kind of my reading plan um in a way it's not to buy any books and really focus on what i have on my shelf if i can get through a whole year without buying books and just reading what's on my shelf then to be honest i'd actually be really happy with myself um, I also want to just read more. Reading is one of those things that really relaxes me, it helps me sleep, it really helps with my anxiety and yet with everything that's going on this year I've hardly read and it's made my mental health worse because I haven't been putting in that effort. So I really want to focus next year on reading. I don't know if I really want to say a figure of books I want to get to. Um, but I do want to make an active effort to read more. I'll probably say 50. I think that's generally the go-to. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's it. I want to try and read more non-fiction. I have so many good feminist books. I'm doing a women's studies uh, masters. So it'd be really good if I could read those. Um, I want to read more biographies. I want to read more modern classics. I've recently bought quite a few. And again, I want to get to them. I just, I honestly just have so many amazing books on my shelf that I just want to read. So that's kind of my reading plan. Um, Yeah, so that's, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm in a really weird mood um, today. <laughs> I don't know why and I can't stop laughing. Um, I need to go, otherwise I'm gonna be late to my seminar that is literally in my dining room because uh, it's over Zoom because we're in a lockdown. Um, 
but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i leave my instagram below i don't really post on my book one i really want to try and get to it i just feel like my artistic flair of taking books is not as good as other people's and so i don't really want to um but i think i'm gonna try um but yeah hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon bye